Now one thing that I do want to add on to this design is a slot cutout on the back edge that we can pass a USB-C cable through the back. So let's go ahead and incorporate that into our design now. I'm going to go into create, slot, and then center to center slot, also known as a C2C slot. And I'm going to be zooming in a little bit and then clicking, moving horizontally over, clicking again, moving upwards, and then clicking the last time. But as you can see, the outer edge of my slot is dashed and orange, which means I accidentally kept my construction geometry turned on. So let's go ahead and fix that first. I don't need to make any more slots, so I can hit escape. Then I can double click on any edge of our slot, go into our sketch palette, and as you can see, the line type is set to construction. So as soon as I click that, it reverses our slot back to a normal sketch. Perfect. Now let's add on some constraints. I want to add on a coincident constraint between the center line of the slot and the origin. As soon as I do that, you can see it drops down so that center line is always pointing towards the origin. Now we can add in some dimensions. I'm gonna type D for dimension, and we can say that the center to center distance of our slot is going to be six millimeters. The diameter or the width of our slot is also going to be six millimeters. And then I wanna say that the distance between this arc and this edge right here is gonna be four millimeters. And if you checked out our last video, you know that we can dimension this using our tangent tool. So I'm going to be having my cursor over this right arc, right clicking and selecting pick circle at arc tangent. Now I can click on the arc and that edge and it's now dimensioning to the arc, not the center point of that arc. As I said before, we're gonna be keeping this as four millimeters. We can hit enter and then this sketch is all done.